So today it's all about making large amounts of money off of fruit, but not just rolling them through the conveyor so they cash in over here. No, we're chopping them up because each individual piece is also worth just as much. And so if we just buy a few more of these oranges and they can be worth even more. And we also get some experience so we can level up and add a new conveyor to our belt or a new conveyor belt to our assembly line. You know what I mean? And then there's even more small pieces that are also worth just as much. And now we can buy an apple and the pieces that don't get chopped just roll on in and they cash out. But we get so much money if they cash in over there. Look at that. And we can also increase the income of the fruit so we can get even more there. And now we can get more experience from the fruit. So that means more level ups and then hopefully more conveyors because we have a lot more room down here to use. And now we can get a peach, Yummy. slice that up. And then and slice those bits into even smaller bits. I think it got chopped. It did, yeah, look at all that money. We already have 320, and now we can get a chance of doubling the income. There's also a dancing coin here that makes me wanna watch a video. No! And this is so much fruit coming through here. Need to get more oranges so that production is even faster, and each individual orange is worth 19. Ooh, level five, just one more and we can get that conveyor. But for now, we'll get a chance of gain double experience. That is so much money going in there, I like it. We'll also buy a few more apples so we can get that monetary income up. So now the oranges and the apples are both worth 20. And there's a level up, another conveyor for us, beautiful. So these quarter chunks get sliced into eighths. Who would have thought? And that is a lot of them right there. Ooh, now it's enough that we can get a watermelon. Neat. And just the first level of that gives 20. Oh boy. Though I really wish we could get the chopping speed increased because there's a lot of chunks that are not getting sliced, but the ones that do give us so much back. Yes. Oh, and now we have a chance to create two fruits. That should be good for us. Hey, there's two oranges right there. Perfect. Oh man, we're getting so many level ups. Chance to buy two fruits at a time? Sure. So we can possibly buy two watermelons, so it doesn't look like we did that. Even still, those are giving us 99 a piece. Oh, and this one just got sliced into eighths. That's a lot of money right there. Beautiful, 3,000. And now we have a chance to double fruit creation speed. Perfect. And the orange is already fast, so I can't imagine there's just gonna be even more of them. We're also doing pretty good at unlocking some of these achievements like factory level or the earning money level, but I'm not sure what they do. Maybe they give more experience. Well, there's an achievement. And now we can get, I'm thinking more chance to create two fruits. Oh, here we go. Now we're getting a lime, it looks like. And that's worth 119 just after two purchases. Sadly though, that first one didn't get sliced and this one did. Good, go through the line. I need you to make me all the money. Okay, it got sliced once there. That piece didn't, but now it should hopefully be, yes. Oh, maximum, almost maximum out of that line. Perfect. We can already buy it again and it can get us $178 a piece. And now we have 13 points that we can use to get another conveyor. Ooh, and it looks like there's more after this, but the screen's already full. So it, it just mashes them into little cubes. That's perfect. That Because that's just a wave of money going through. Just watching this climb super rapidly. You probably buy a lot of oranges with all that money. So much so that it becomes a $37 orange when it used to be just one. So let's go ahead and increase the income from each of the fruits. An extra 20%, how about 30%? And then the experience gain can be upped as well. And now the oranges cost a thousand to upgrade. So let's go ahead and buy some more apples until that is worth a thousand. And then we'll do the same with the peaches. The watermelons are already there. So we'll just buy a lime because those give us the most. And we're seeing some lime cubes right now. Not as many as I would like, but they'll come through again. There we go. We're getting a lot of lime chunks through here and then all that should get mashed. Oh, beautiful. Yes, that's a lot of cubes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can't even read how much money I'm getting. But now we have 16 points. We can get another conveyor belt. And then it moves down into these whatever huh? those are. So they get scooped up and then something happens, right? Oh, look at that. We got miniature fruits. Oh my gosh, that was worth a thousand. Woo! A miniature orange gives us... That's a lot right there. So we're basically just crushing the fruit and slicing it and dicing it and all that so it's even smaller and then we're making small fruits out of it and that just gives us so much money right there Ooh, a small peach that was worth three thousand all by itself and we can buy this looks like a coconut Ooh, we can buy it again actually sadly though the first one didn't get sliced at all that's tragic but i do want to see more chances to double the fruit speed. Oh, we could have also reduced the cost of fruit. I didn't see that before. Oh, well, let's just buy more oranges until that's 
costing us like 10,000. So that's given us 66 income. And now we are running really low on money. So we should probably just let this run for a little while and then look at what upgrades we can get. Like there, reducing the cost and it's only 5% each time. So we'll just buy that twice. And we just had to wait a little bit more and we can get another conveyor. So we have five of those. Where does it even go after the small fruits? Ooh, that was a lot of small coconut pieces. I would love to see one of those. Yes, okay, it goes through and then it absolutely just passes away unharmed. Need to see, okay, it's an, it's even smaller size, so we're getting even smaller pieces. Oh my goodness, we're going quantum with these fruits, but hey, let's just get a pair. So the pears on the first level give us 632, but they're so expensive. Thankfully, we can still get a lot of apples for the money that we do have. So those are almost worth 100 by themselves. And it's good that we're still getting experience from all these small pieces as well, so we can put it towards increased chances of double fruit, as well as possibly getting double money, because that's always good and now we can buy another pair so that's giving us 2,000 roughly of coins Ooh, and a small pair just got sliced right there oh that's awesome 12,000 for each of those this is a really good production we have going on here though I really wonder what decides the fruit that's gonna pop out of these like compactors probably whatever is most present Ooh, but there's another pair yes go through give me the good monies and oh it dodged everything well now we can get the double creation bonus up to 12%. I like seeing double digits on that. And we can also get additional experience from each of the fruits. Oh, and there's a lot of good fruits to get sliced there if they could, you know, go a little bit slower like these ones are. And now with 705,000 monies, we can get whatever that is. I honestly have no idea what that is. Is that a mango? I'm not sure that's a mango. It just rolls funny and it doesn't get sliced. Why is the first fruit that I get never get sliced? Oh, well, at least we have 22 points that we can use to get the two fruits chance up to 12%. Very good. And I just love seeing the different fruit pieces just go oh, down yeah. like a waterfall to the next conveyor belt. And then we get three fruits at a time going through here and none of them get sliced because they're too speedy. And I think it's time we increase the price of all these other fruits because like the peach here can get us 289 by itself. And the orange is only giving us 72, but it's producing a lot. And we're really seeing the speed up fruit production bonus happen with this one. And now we can have the coconuts give us a thousand for each of those. And now the apples actually do give us a hundred and the oranges still take quite a bit longer. They're getting expensive. Maybe I should reduce their cost a little bit more. Yeah, sure, why not? A few more times there, so the fruits are 80% what they were before. Now we just need a little more experience. And yes, now we can get another conveyor belt to see what happens after these get sliced. I'm guessing they just get quartered again. But no, the first ones, of course, never do. But there's a lot more of those choppy blades in this one than the last one. They really want to make sure they get diced. And good thing, too. Look at all that money. We now have a million monies with us, but I still can't even buy the next fruit. I don't even know what that is. I'm just going to get more of these weird yellow ones so that each of those give us 5,000. And now they cost a million to buy again. Gross. Let's just put that money towards the watermelons because those are somehow the cheapest thing right now. So we get those generating 560 monies for us. And now the limes can give us 600. And the oranges are still quite a ways away from giving us 100 for them. Oh, you tragic things. Now we just need a little bit more money. Ooh, but we leveled up. Oh, I didn't even spend any points, so we can get the next conveyor already. Excellent! What is that thing? Is that a juicer? I don't know, but let's throw this new fruit into it. Oh, it's a kiwi! But it looks like this needs a lot of fruit to build up the juice for it. Thankfully, these diced up pears should do that for us. Oh, and it closed? Okay. Oh! It's just... Wait, that's not even juice, that's just a straight up block, but it gave us... Like 872,000 monies. Ooh, and we're getting another one already. But that one was only worth 90,000. That's disappointing. And we still have 15 points left over. So let's get the double creation up to 15%. That's a good number for a percentage. I wonder if we get these like more expensive fruits through there, if that'll be like an, a million coin block, which these ones are not that, but I'll take the money. It's just a shame that there's only one of those on this belt. Booyah! Oh, there it is. There's a million block. That came a lot sooner than I thought it would. But now we can get another kiwi with all that money. And the good thing about this production is that it uses the whole kiwi, like you should. Oh, and I guess that's a max level conveyor belts too. So the block of fruit is the ultimate goal here. And a good thing too, that gives us so much money. Not that one, but like other ones can. And there's still two more fruits we haven't seen yet. 
I guess three, but these two are just a mystery. So now that we have all these experience points that we can't use for the conveyors, let's go ahead and put them all into increasing the money gains from the fruit, which effectively use all of them. Nice. So that's a 70% bonus to the income. And that block becomes 198,000. Disappointment. Oh, and I just noticed that buying those money bonuses got the orange above 100. Neat. That's where I wanted it to be. Now let's get the lime up to a thousand and then the watermelon up to a thousand just so it looks a little bit better. There we go. And now we can get one of these kiwis effectively, which is 22,000 for each of those pieces. Although the sense of how much each of those pieces is worth kind of gets lost when they become compressed into the, like little miniature fruits here. But having all those pieces end up as a big expensive juice block is very good for us. I don't even know if it's juice. I'm just it's a block. I know that much. And now we can get the income bonus all the way to 100%. So we're doubling the money we get from all the fruits, which will look really good when all this gets pressed in the juice. So that block is worth 247,000, really? I literally saw one just pump out like 15 million. And you're doing that? Well, at least you do have 34 million stored up so we can get, I don't even know what that is. It's a strawberry, okay. Worth 26.2 thousand by itself. Will the first one get sliced? Definitely not. Never fails. Unless not being sliced counts as failing, in which case it always fails. Well, let's see if we can get the chance to double fruit creation speed up to 20%. There we go. And then we can hopefully do the same thing with this one. Not yet. And then the next fruit we have to buy is another citrus. What are you going to be, a lemon? Well, at least we can buy another strawberry right away, so that's cool. And I need to see if there's bits that are going to go through the process fully. Okay, there's a chopped strawberry and it drops down and it looks like it's going to get chopped together again by hopefully one of them no i just missed all of them of course it does why wouldn't it and it takes so long to produce it's like time to miss all of them like it's gonna miss oh no it didn't miss that one and ooh, there's a chopped strawberry yes so that goes down and then it doesn't get chopped again it's slowly making its way down the chain but it'll be a while before we get down here so we're just gonna increase our chances of getting double money which is already doubled so that would be like quadruple money Ooh, that looks like a high money block right there and it is 1.9 million. You were like that like 20 minutes ago. And it looks like all of these chunks are going to fill up the bar perfectly. And then you're going to give us... 86,000. Oh, was I expecting it to be different? But we did get a lot of upgrade points from that. So we can get better chances of getting double fruits up to 21%. Pretty good there. And we can buy some more strawberries. And that one gave us 13 million. That's what I'm talking about. It is kind of disappointing how some of these blocks of juice stuff can go all the way through. And okay, 2 million there. But sometimes it gives out less than if just these normal slices went through. So what we could do at that point is take some of these fruits that get through more often like the watermelons and the limes and then make their value go up even more. So their total cost becomes about a million and they're giving us 1,000, 4,000, almost 8,000 there. And I think the best thing we can get right now is increased income a few times and then chance for double money because we're really close to getting the next level of fruit. Will this block get us there? Ooh, 2.7 million and that does it. So we get Oh my gosh, it is a lemon. Why am I not surprised? But just one of those gives a 6,000. Will it hold up the tradition of not getting sliced right away? It actually does get sliced right away. Good, do some good things for us. We need the money. So it goes on even more. Oh yeah, it's getting diced up beautifully. And then it gets crushed, hopefully. Oh no, it didn't get crushed. Fine, cash out. Ooh, I think that actually created a double lemon right there. There's only one going through, but... I'll take it. Need to see you get pressed into juicy little bits. Yes. And then get swept up into a smaller fruit, which is sadly a peach. And it looks like the peach is about where it ends. Tragic. And then the last fruit takes 398 million to get. And it looks like a pomegranate. Oh my gosh. That brick was 36 million all by itself. That's amazing. Now let's just get another lemon. And that total income from there is 173,000. Just off of two upgrades. Hopefully we can see that in action. Yes, there we go. Get those sliced up even more. Hopefully you get, okay, one slice got quartered. And there it goes again. Looking very good all around for that whole stash. And I cannot tell if the lemon is in there. You just sort of lose track of everything as it moves down the line. But diced up coconuts and watermelons are good for us. And they finish off the brick. And the brick is worth... 297,000. Why do you disappoint me so? Also, the rate that we're leveling up is pretty slow now, so maybe it's worth putting upgrades into this one so we can get an extra 70% bonus to the experience. All right, I think I see lemon bits going through. Oh, there's a tiny melon right 
A lemon right there. Yes, and it got sliced in half. Oh, come on. You can get chopped again. And no, oh, it survived. But we still got, wow, nice monies from that. So with 33 points, we can get the double money chance up to 21%. Looking good. And then the rest of these points, I guess, can be used for a chance of double experience. Tiny lemon goes through. Yes, and it's chopped in half. And it looks like it's got a good chance of getting quartered. Yes! Go, little lemon bits. Go get pressed into a brick so you can give me lots of money. Hopefully it's a lot. It is 2.4 million. Not as much as I would have hoped. Although it is pretty satisfying watching all these different fruits go through the conveyor belt like they do. Especially the if they're all just pouring off the seen. side like that. And then they do it again in even smaller bits. And then I think this whole batch is gonna go into the juice box. Except it filled up pretty early, so that's just tragic right there. Although 15 million I wouldn't say is tragic. And now with 32 points, we can get the double chance bonus up to 27%. So almost a third of the time there's a double money happening and then almost 10% of the time there's double experience happening. Oh, and there it is. With 400 million, we can get the last fruit, which it Seems like it is a pomegranate. And I think we know what's gonna happen here with the first one that shows up. Drops down, goes and it goes. Ooh, it does get sliced. Can it keep it up though? I sure hope it does. Ooh, we got half of it sliced. So more of it goes through the line and it keeps going into nice little quarters. Please get pressed. Yes. Okay, that little bit at the front is the pomegranate that we need. And it, oh, it got one tiny bit scooped up, but that's not enough. But still, those are big gains from those tiny cubes. Can we see another one do that? It looks like we're about to. Ooh, perfect. Both of those halves got quartered. This is looking odd. Missed that one. Well, even so, each of those are worth quite a bit, and some of them got the double money bonus. So even though we spent most of our money, we're already back up to 78 million. I'd say that's pretty good. It'd be even better if a double money bonus happened on these bricks here, but some of them score so low. Ooh, 21 million. Okay, that might have been a double money bonus. I don't know. It's a bit hard to tell sometimes because it can either score that high. Oh, 32 million. Oh, that's awesome. And that one is 17 million. Now we're starting to get good gains from the bricks, although some bricks only give us 1 million so some of them are pretty worthless. But we have more experience points, so we can just give ourselves some more chance for bonuses, up to 33%. Now it is a third of the time. And we have a few bits of pomegranate going through the line now. Yes, there's an eighth. And then it should line up to get squashed into tiny little cubes. Oh, but it might miss a scooping. Ooh, no, it did get scooped. Oh, I really want to see a tiny pomegranate roll through here. That'd be amazing. Ooh, there's a tiny pomegranate, but it... It made it all the way through to the score box, so it gave us 5 million. So it makes me think that these actually don't collect the cubes and put them into, like, a random fruit. It just collects the bits, and then when there's enough of the bits of each of the fruits, then it makes a smaller fruit. I don't know if that made sense. All right, I'm starting to see some good things happen here. We got pomegranate bits being pressed into juice, and then they get scooped. Yes, there's a tiny pomegranate. All right, you just gotta make it through to get sliced in half. Yes, good, looking very good. Okay, hopefully you get diced into quarters or something like that. Yes! They're gonna get juiced. And the juicing is empty, so they're all gonna go in. Oh, that's so good. And there's some coconuts in there too. Those are, okay, not as, not as high up the tree as I thought they would be. But now we have a big brick about to be made and it's worth 130 million. Oh, that is amazing. That lets us buy another pomegranate and then another lemon because why not? That is some good gains there. So let's just get the double fruit chance up to 27%. And we are seeing a lot more double fruits drop down. Ooh, we just got a double pomegranate. Oh, and they all got sliced. Oh, this is going to be good. As long as they all get diced properly, they are good. But this row kind of sucks. We have one bit of pomegranate going through. But it is doing pretty good for getting diced properly. It's just not going to be scooped, I don't think. Okay, it got scooped a little bit, but not enough to make a small one. Or we do have a small pomegranate right there. And it's going to get juiced. Yes, it's ahead of everything else. It's going to get juiced. Oh, perfect. That already adds so much to the brick score. So it gives 42 million. Okay, it's a lot better than the, you know, sub 1 million bricks that we were getting before. I'll take it. And we just keep getting more and more money. This is quite a satisfying operation we have. And I think that just about does it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, be sure to let me know. And sub to intern. And thanks to the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donamoto, Vivian X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Splatter Sex, The Real Nickname, Hateful Herald, Peggy Sue, Drupalong, TJ, Seriously Sarcastic, Angel, Lily, and The Miner Within.